back to, to my youtube channel so um we are going to be looking at the problem in front of us that says calculate we have to evaluate the better of three over two and one over two so on our last video we uh, we established the relationship between beta and gamma function and i said that relationship will help us to solve the better of fractions right so because we can actually use the normal form of of um, beta function or the we can actually use the integral form but it's going to be a very long calculation but so we've established the relationship between beta and gamma function so we can easily solve or calculate the values of beta of fractions like the one we have in front of us so now how do we go about this you know now when time you see you ask to calculate the beta of fractions you have in fractions in the bracket just remember your relationship between your beta and your gamma function so the relationship between your beta and gamma function which we established in our last video was given as beta of mn is equal to gamma n gamma m times gamma n divided by gamma m plus n right so this was the form we established in our last video so i'm going to make use of this form in solving the problem in front of us so we have to solve the beta of 3 over 2 and 1 over 2 so which will be equal to now where m is my where, where my m is 3 over 2 and where, where n is what 1 over 2 right so now substitute it here this will be having the gamma of 3 over 2 dot we'll be having the gamma of 1 over 2 right then divided by the gamma of 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 So, this is what we have in front of us, right? So, now let's simplify the denominator. We'll be having the gamma of 3 over 2 times gamma of 1 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 will give me 2, right? So, 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 will give me 2. So, now we have this right in front of us. So, what, what is left for us to do is to apply our gamma sorry it's to apply or yes yeah, to apply our knowledge of gamma of, of, of evaluating the gamma of a function so since we have we have asked to calculate the beta of two functions now we are now we are trying to use the gamma of that we are trying to we are trying to use the gamma form or the gamma um, or our knowledge of gamma gamma function to solve this so now let's pick this first one the gamma of three over two is what remember we've treated gamma function so this is not supposed to be a problem for us so now how do we evaluate the gamma of 3 over 2 oh no that this the gamma of 3 over 2 can also be now like i said on our video on the gamma function we have to express this in terms of m plus 1 or n plus 1 so i'm going to express this as a function that is adding 1 right so expressing this as a function that is adding 1 which is which is 1 which is gamma of 1 over 2 plus 1 right and we, we all know that the gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n right remember we can't use the n factorial like i said on our video we can't use for n factorial for what fractions so we can only use this for fraction we can also use this for integ integers but we can't use this for fractions so then that means the gamma of so we're having gamma of one over two plus one here right so one over two plus one so this gives me one over two gamma of one over two right and we all know that the gamma of one over two is equal to what the square root of pi so coming back here i'm having one over two times the square root of pi so this right here so the gamma of three over two is the square root of pi over two then we've established that then we move on to this what this one we have here we have the gamma of one over two right which it was to be to know that gamma of one over two is still what square root of pi now we move to the denominator which is the gamma of 2 and let's try to express it as a function of plus 1 so this is gamma of 2 right which is can which can also be written as the gamma of 1 plus 1 right and which can also be written as gamma of 1 factorial and 1 factorial is what 1 so the gamma of 2 is 1 so now we, we, we're substituting we substituting all this into our form of, of our formula we'll be having gamma of 3 over 2 1 over 2 is equal to pi over 2 root pi over 2 times root pi divided by 1 right so we want to know that root pi over 2 times root pi is equal to pi 
over 2. So this is the solution to the gamma of 3 over 2 and 1 over 2. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, it's very, very easy. So with this, you can be able to solve other, gamma, other problems on gamma function of fraction. So thank you guys for watching. See you on the next video.